Hello, everyone. This is Fifty Two Audio. The product we're gonna tear down today is the Xiaomi Flipbus Pro Wireless Noise Cancellation Earbuds. Let's stop talking nonsense. Just to look at the product and then open it. The overall packaging is black. The appearance of the earbuds is in the middle. Let's turn it back, and we can see the product's details. Here are the six main features: 40 decibels active noise cancellation, fast charging, transparent mode, intelligent low latency, 11 millimeter dynamic driver, multi-device connection. Besides that, this earbud is the world's first model equipped with Qualcomm's QCC5151 flagship chip. We will look at that chip after we tear it down. Open the package. There are earbuds, manual charging cable, and two additional pairs of ear tips. The charging cable is USB A to Type C. Let's look at the earbuds. Its charging case adopts high gross nano NCVM coating. It seems like the mirror effect, but it's also easier to get fingerprints while improving the appearance. In addition, there is only one LED indicator on the front, and the Xiaomi logo is on the back. The Bluetooth pairing button and the USB-C port are placed at the bottom. Open the charging case. The lid is tilted, and you can carefully feel the smoothness of opening and closing damping. It makes it easy to open, but won't automatically close. There is a charging indicator for earbuds in the middle of the charging case. There is some product information inside the lid of charging case, like product model TWSEJ20 GT. Charging case input is 5 volts 2.2 amp, which is pretty high on the earbuds. The maximum power of 11 watts is almost catching up with iPhone 12 Mini. The earbuds adopt the in-ear design, kind of similar to the P shooter, which is very common nowadays. The pogo pin for charging is located at the bottom of the charging case. The location is very deep and not easy to detect. Let's see the weight of the earbuds. The weight of the earbuds and charging case is about 57 grams. The weight of the earbuds is about 12 grams, and the single one is about 6 grams. Okay, after reviewing the entire product, let's just tear it down. Start from the charging case. The first step is to heat the surrounding area, then slowly pry to open the charging case. Slowly take out the module inside. The internal circuit is composed of the motherboard and an FPC. Connect with the BDB connector through the flat cable. The motherboard and wireless charging coil aren't fixed on the charging module. Instead, it is fixed at the bottom of the charging case shell by screws. Those two points of the FPC cable on the charging module are used to charge the earbuds. There is an indicator light here, and the whole element is at the end, which is used for automatic connection and disconnection. Battery cable is welded on the small board of the FPC cable. This is a Winnick AW9106B LED driver used to drive indicator light. This is electricity meter chip. From Cellwise CW2015, which can accurately estimate the remaining battery capacity and display it in pop-up animation. The battery capacity of the charging case is 570 million power. The ready voltage is 3.85 volts, and the limit voltage is 4.4 volts. The cable of the wireless charging coil is soldered on the motherboard. The motherboard is equipped with Novolta NU1680 wireless power receiver. It has the advantage of small size and high integration. It also provides protection functions such as overcurrent, short circuit, overvoltage, overheating. The wired input adopts USB-C port. This is charging IC from Texas Instruments BQ21120, used to charge the built-in battery. This is a load switch of overvoltage protection, 
from Well Semiconductor WS3222D, used for input over voltage protection of USB-C. And this is TVS Protection Dialed, which is also from Well Semiconductor ESD5641 and used for input over voltage protection. This is a microcontroller from HDSC HC32L170, which is an MCU with a wide voltage operating range, used for the control of the charging case. Let's start to tear down the AirBots itself. The first step is to heat it. Carefully open the front of the AirBots. There is a flat cable between the front and back to connect through the BTB connector. Take a look at the speaker part. A transparent object is fixed on the shell of the speaker part. The ear detection sensor is fixed inside of the object. This is dynamic speakers. According to the official, the front side is high resilience diaphragm. The structure around here can make the voice coil vibration more balanced and powerful. The noise cancellation microphone in ear is under the speaker, which collects noise inside the ear canal. And here is the button battery with steel shell. It is soldered on this FPC and then connect to the motherboard. The capacity of the button battery is 54 mAh. Remove the battery. There is a layer of insulating transparent plastic isolation where it is connected with the motherboard. Pry it and open the back cover of the earbuds by heating. Take out the internal components. The LDS laser antenna is printed on three sides of the plastic strip, which increased the antenna area and improved stability of connection and data transmission. Here are Bluetooth antenna and two microphones. Connect the motherboard through the BDB connector and contacts. This is a noise cancellation microphone and this is a call microphone. There are two layers of PCB in the AirBots handle. The BDB of the side pressure sensor is connected to the upper PCB. Take out the internal boards. This small board is the pressure sensor for operation control. Take a look at the motherboard. It is connected to the upper small board and looks very neat. This one is a Winnick AW86802 in the upper small board, which is the SOC used to collect, process, and control pressure sensing data. Integrated ARM M0 core. Let's see the motherboard again. This largest one is the first release of Qualcomm QCC5151 flagship Bluetooth Master Control Chip. Support the latest Bluetooth 5.2. Support Qualcomm Adaptive Active Noise Cancellation, Qualcomm APTX Adaptive Audio, Qualcomm True Wireless Technology and Qualcomm's 8th generation CVC Echo Cancellation Noise Suppression Technology. It also supports keywords and physical button to wake up the voice assistant, an analog 71251 audio codec is also here, which can further improve the active noise cancellation effect while ensuring the high-quality audio experience. This is charging IC from Texas Instruments BQ25618, used to charge the building lithium battery of the earbuds. The dual PMOS tube from Well WPMD2084 is next to it, used for input protection and backflow prevention. This is a memory on the other side used to store Bluetooth configuration. This is 2-in-1 chip for capacitive in-ear detection and touch from Goodix GH610 used for in-ear detection for earbuds. This is MEMS bone conduction voice sensor from ST Microelectronics LIS2DW12 and printed with a QR code. It supports tap touch and VAD switch. That means it can determine whether the person speaks the keyword by vibration and reduce force triggers caused by noise in the environment. Well, that would be today's teardown of this Xiaomi Flip Boss Pro earbuds. Although the highly integrated internal structure design is complicated, but still very neat. The protection between every single component is pretty good, and they connected through a larger number of BDB connectors. To bring the best audio quality to users, it also adopts Qualcomm QCC5151 flagship SOC for the first time and attaches an ADI71251 audio codec. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you like this teardown, please drop a like 
leave any comments, or directly subscribe to us. Those actions will be our motivation to produce more content. See you in the next video. Bye.